Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for having me, Dr. Rashid. It's a pleasure to be here. And I would like to start off with uh, actually two words that you mentioned this morning, uh, that being dream and passion. Uh, those two words are very important to me and actually the company as well. This is not the word. Those two words are very important to, uh, actually to us. And the reason is uh, all our clients that we select uh, have a dream. And this is the fundamental part of actually representing companies. So we represent innovations from all over the world, but mainly the Netherlands, which is where I'm from as well. And the most important part is that we can feel passion for the dream that others have. So today I would like to tell you about uh, Dr. Alexander Suma, the CEO of PowerNest. Um, he has an innovation that focuses on combining wind and solar energy. Now, as you see here in this quote from uh, Sheikh Mohammed, dreams begin with an idea, a word, an image, or even a postage stamp. As generations work to fulfill our dreams, we develop concrete ideas. This is an approach to working which is very important to the vision of the UAE and to accomplish what we are trying to do as a whole country and actually as the world. Now there is a um, sort of myth going on if you talk about wind energy in the UAE. Like I go to many clients and I speak to many people that are very active in sustainability and the first thing they say when you talk about wind is like there is no wind in the UAE. Well actually Partially that's true, but the reality is that there is wind, uh, it's just on a lower amount, so not as consistent as other parts of the world, but there's sufficient amount of wind to do something with it. And this is where um, innovation is key to reach sustainable development goals. Now, as you know, solar is massive around the world. Here in the UE as well, we've got, for instance, here an image of the sustainable city, where the majority of the energy is actually generated by solar energy. Well, of course, there's one main disadvantage to solar compared to wind. Can anyone here in the audience tell me what the advantage of wind energy would be over solar? 24-7. 24-7, exactly. So, if you have solar, you can generate lots of energy during the day. <laughs> uh, but you need to store that energy, because actually, at night, when we all come home from our work, we would like to do our washing, we watch TV, we turn on our lights, and that's the moment when we need this energy. Now with wind, you can generate it throughout the entire day. So, the thing is, the higher buildings rise, with our growing population, buildings become taller, more people are using uh, electricity facilities within the building, and the demand for energy goes up. Now there are certain solutions like such, where you put a wind turbine on top of your building and you have a certain amount of sustainable energy. But this is, first of all, not very attractive, and second of all, not anywhere near sufficient. Now, high-rise roofs are getting more and more solar on there, but there is a major disadvantage which we currently see. All our roofs are covered with AC utilities and entrances to service the roof, you name it. So only 40 to 60 percent of the roof right now can actually be covered in solar energy. Now this is such a shame because just a couple of panels will not be sufficient to power the entire building. In fact, annually, on average in the UAE, if you would put uh, solar panels on top of the roof, it would maybe provide energy for one apartment in the building. Now usually the, the amount of investment required for this is not even uh, attractive enough, so it's not really done. So we go to, for instance, uh, a solar park like the Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid solar park here in the desert. But at the same time, we want to generate it locally. Now, an innovation that we're here represent representing is particularly interesting for this region. Um, it's called PowerNest, and that's why I call my presentation PowerNest in the UAE. So it combines solar and wind. Now, there are many advantages of doing this. Uh, Dr. Alexander Suma has been working on this for eight years and really uh, trying to realize the stream and to make every single building uh, possible to make them run on sustainable energy for the majority. So, how does he do it? He makes sure that the entire roof service, plus some extra, is applicable to use for solar. 
Secondly, you get wind by placing a wind turbine under the solar panels. And the benefit of raising your solar panels is that air flows under the solar panels. And as you may know, solar panels that run cool actually generate more energy than solar panels that are running hot. Now, by placing such a large object above on your roof, um, you're of course creating shade. Now, this means that the top floor has a, at least 38% reduction in AC demand, and it covers the utilities, the AC utilities on top of the roof, which the, delivers another 10% reduction in the total energy consumption for the entire building on AC. Now, new and existing buildings are very suitable, um, as long as they're five layers or higher. Now, here in the UAE, most buildings actually are uh, a lot higher than that. And um, the structure is designed to rest not on the roof, so you don't need any structural changes. It, it rests on the side of the uh, building, so on the vertical structure. Now, the, a couple of advantages, the roof finishing lasts longer, and you've got less maintenance cost. Now, of course, it would be very difficult to come up with a solution like this and try to go to every single building and customize the design, adjust it so that it fits the building. This would take ages. You would not be able to change the entire world, so he would not be able to fulfill his dream. So he looked into it and said, okay, we need to make it a modular concept. It needs to be easy to implement this on any building with um, a flat roof. So the, um, the product is divided up into several modules which can be combined to cover the entire roof, as you can see here. Now in terms of transporting, it's very easy. You can simply unfold the uh, product and assemble it on location. So it's easy to transport and the materials used can be locally manufactured. Actually right now, we are currently looking together with EGA uh, and with aluminium, global aluminium to manufacture this product locally as well. Now, as you can see, a quick table, uh, just, I won't go through all of it, but just a quick look to see um, if you just have, here in Dubai for instance, a height of a building of let's say 30 meters, the average wind speed is actually 6.9 meters per second. Now, um, the power nest starts generating energy from just 2 meters per second. And usually for wind turbines, the number is substantially higher when it starts generating energy. This is where the myth comes from, because people presume that if you have large wind turbines, you need a substantial amount of wind to actually start running a feasible wind turbine. Now in this case, it's applicable, because from two meters onwards, you can already use it. 